Hello, this is a quick rotational mobility exercise video. This is if you've been sitting and not moving well and you're like, oh, my body feels so stiff. Sometimes we're stiff in our low back. A lot of the time we're stiff throughout our whole torso. This sequence is to help you with precisely that. So come on to your back. Bend your right knee, take your right knee over and across your left side. Your left side stays anchored down, your right shoulder and your arm will stay straight. Take your gaze over your right shoulder and don't be attached to if your shoulder touches the ground and your right knee touches the ground. I don't care about that. What I care about is that you get this nice stretch through your torso and into your hip. You want to stay where it feels good. Breathe into the stretch. So take some big, slow, long inhalations. Exhale your out. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, let's do the other side. So straighten your right leg out, bend your left knee, pull your left knee over. Did you see how I did that scoot? So you kind of need to scoot over onto your side a little bit. I like to hold my leg here. I'm not forcing it to the ground. You force it to the ground, you're gonna cause some injury to your low back or your pelvis. Rather, you're just kind of gently encouraging it to stay in place. And you're searching for the stretch. The stretch is gonna come on that hip up into the rib cage. And then you can take your gaze over your left shoulder. Take an inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Great, come on out of that. Stay in a hook line position. You're gonna tuck your pelvis under and gently roll your spine up off the ground. So think of going one vertebrae at a time. I'm gonna move my arms so you can see how slow I'm going here. The key to this exercise is to use your belly. So you wanna peel your spine up one vertebrae at a time. This is called an articulated bridge. And then going down one vertebrae at a time, very slowly. Your arms will be down at home. I'm just taking my arm out of the equation so you can see what it looks like. So tuck under and move one vertebrae at a time. And then think of reaching it energetically out through your knees this way. And then exhale, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Two more like that, okay? Arms by your side, peeling up. And exhale, peeling back down. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Roll on to your side. Here, it helps to have something underneath your head. So you can put a pillow or a pad here. I'm just going to use this balance pad. You'll take your arms straight out in front of you. Your knees are bent. 
And with your inhale, you're gonna take your left arm away from your right and twist to the left. Exhale, back down. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. One more, then we're going to switch sides. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Let's switch sides. Come on to your left side. Arms come forward. And then inhale to open, exhale to close. Inhale to open, exhale to close. Inhale to open, exhale to close. One more, inhale to open. And exhale to close. Great. Come on to your hands and knees. Take your left arm, thread it underneath your right, and bend your right elbow. Your head will come down to the ground if that's too much for you. You'll build the ground up using pillows to rest your head on something. I am fortunate enough to have that mobility there. And you'll just breathe into that space. Now with your arm that's here on the ground, the left arm, I want you to push into the ground a little bit with your left arm. And then see if you can pull yourself into a little bit more rotation using the muscles in your torso. And release. Ready, push and try to rotate further just using your muscles and release one more like that push down try to rotate through keep your belly tight and release come on up switch sides on your hands and knees thread your right arm through bend your left elbow your right shoulder comes to the ground you'll push your right arm into the ground and then press into it, try to pull it back and try to rotate a little deeper to the left. And release. Ready again, press down, try to make your muscles of your torso, your upper body, your belly, make all of those muscles work and activate to find some of that rotation. And release. One more, okay, ready? Push down and rotate. Doesn't look like much, but it feels like a lot. Feels like you're moving your body stuck in concrete. At least that's how it feels in my body. And release. Last one here, you'll take your left hand to the back side of your head. Take your left elbow to your right and then open your left elbow to the side. So you'll rotate in and then rotate back. Notice it's not a big movement. Our thoracic spine isn't built for a lot of movement. It's built for protection. We're protecting vital organs in there. We're not trying to look like something out of the exorcist, okay? So these are non-exorcist exercises, okay? I wanna be very clear about that. One more. And open. Great, we do the other side. Right hand on your head, elbow comes in towards the left side and you come out of the rotation and you rotate to the right. So you're rotating left, then rotating very actively to the right. Keep going. Three. Four. 
four. One more. And five. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on building some thoracic spine mobility, helping you with a little more rotation. These aren't the only drills I know in this body region, there's a ton more. If you'd like to study with me more, you can sign up online for one of my classes at onlineptla.com. Um, and I'll have a ton of more tutorials on this YouTube channel. If you have any requests, please leave them in the comment section below or send me an email, paula at alignptla.com. Um, thank you for your participation. Please share this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and um, I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody.